Hi everyone, in the previous days I made a video how to create a SharePoint Copilot agent and how to add it in Teams. Now I would like to show you an alternative way that we have nowadays to create Copilot agents through the Bits Chat of Microsoft 365, also known as Business Chat. There you can have a catalog of agents and IT admins can decide which one should be available for the entire organization. From an end user perspective, using this uh, user interface, you can easily create new copilot agents targeting several resources, not only SharePoint, but also other resources if you want. Okay, let's get started. Here I am in uh, Microsoft Teams. So let's open copilot here. And on the left rail, I have the classic copilot app and directly from here I can start creating new agents. But you have the same experience if you jump in office.com or microsoft365.microsoft.com and you will be able to have the same experience. Moreover, here you have the tab web and, and work. So to create an agent for your organization, you need to switch first on the work tab. And on the, on the right, you will see then the ability here in this section, Agents, to create a new agent. So you can get, first of all, let's say that before starting creating a new one, you can get an existing Copilot agent available in the, in the App Store. So opening uh, the, the App Store, there is the Agents section and here you can start downloading and installing an existing agent uh, like uh, dedicated for Confluence, for example, Dropbox or uh, Jira and many other. So going back now to Copilot, let's start to create uh, a new one for my business requirements. Now here I created several days ago a project management advisor. So let's start to create a new one and let's see how it looks, the, the experience. So first of all, we start with the describe action available. So here you can, uh, you can have uh, some description already available and ready to go. Career coach, for example, prompt coach, writing coach. This is provided by Microsoft. But here, if you want, you can start describing uh, the agent that you want to create. So let's start type something here. And this is what I typed, help new employees to get onboarded in the organization. Let's send this message and now let's see what is the proposal by Copilot. Great, the agent is now set up. Now to move forward to the next step is to click on the button configure. Now there is a very new addition which is template here and as we have seen before there are three templates provided directly by Microsoft. Probably we will see more in the future. Now let's start with the first thing to do with the first step which is setting the icon. So here you can upload your image if you want but let's start by setting a color. Let's do that by picking this, this color, it's good to go. Let's click on save. All right, now let's select uh, and define a name of my Copilot agent. Onboarding facilitator, an agent designed to assist new employees in getting onboarded in the organization. The description is fine. And I have several instructions. This will help every new employee to understand and figure out what this agent will uh, will do. All right, I have uh, as a first point, assist new employees in getting aborted in the organization, provide information about company policies, procedures and resources. This is perfectly what I need to have. Now let's go forward to the knowledge section. So for the moment, what we can target here, it's a folder with files, for example, or it's an entire SharePoint site and you can add up to 20 knowledge resources. It's, it's a lot. 
Then you have also the ability to enable the web content. So your agent will retrieve and get information in the internet, but it's fine. It's fine to have this. You can browse an existing SharePoint site or a document library. Let me target this one, for example, which is the global HR site. Let's hit the button select. And now I added this, this resource. Opening this, I can see that from my organization, there is also a custom connector built with graph. And this is uh, pretty useful. So if you want, you can create an agent that take advantage by a graph connector that you have already created in your organization. This is exactly my case. I created a, a connector which is able to get information around the countries and cities. So if you want, you can turn on and enable also this capability for your agent. Then, as an extra capability, you can turn on the image generator, but this is not my case. And let's go now with the prompts. So you have the classic welcome message, welcome to the company, company policies, IT setup, HR paperwork, team introductions, and best practices. So it's very well structured. I don't need to touch anything here. It looks very good. So let's say that now I'm ready to go. And what I can do now, I can try it if I want. So this is my sandbox. I can see the prompt here. And down below, I can start in uh, writing something or asking something to my agent. This is the right way to test my new agent. When you are ready to publish this, you can click on the button Create. Let's do that. Now, the creation process will start and you will be able to define if this is an agent tailored just for you or for specific people or for the entire organization. There we go. I have now the link and with this link, I can share this link with other people if they are allowed to play with my agent. Now, this is this step. It's very crucial here. You need to define the sharing setting. If you want to reserve this agent just for you, then keep this setting. Or if you want to specify or narrow the accessibility to this agent just to a few people or just a few security groups, you can then select this and then you can specify email addresses of specific person or security groups. Let's target this one, anyone in your organization. I want to make it available to everyone in the company so everyone will be able to ask and interact with my agent. This is also very important, this link. You can use it to share your agent or if you need to prepare a communication in your internet, it's, it's good to have this, this link so people can start to work and interact immediately with the agent. All right, now this is uh, ready to go. I still have the button share. And moreover, what I can do is download this agent as a zip file. Let's see what it's coming here from, uh, from, this, from this file. So let me open the folder now and let's go, let's go here. And what I have basically is the, the image, the color and the outline image of my agent. And then I have several information about the manifest. I can open this in, uh, in Visual Studio Code, which is my favorite editor. Let's do that. This is the, it is only in uh, everything. It's in one line, but let's format this document so we can see better this. And here, basically, there are all uh, information related to my agent. It's it's pretty pretty similar the structure of this JSON to a Teams app. Okay, let's switch back now, and let's go on the agent again. So now, from here, we have seen all uh, possibility. I can also delete, and this is not yet available. Copilot Studio, I can open also my agent in Copilot Studio and then I can decide as a knowledge extra resources like databases. Okay, 
So now I can close this. My agent, it's, it's ready to go. And up here, here now, I can decide to pin or not this, this new agent. Now, very important to know is that I can uh, edit this, this agent if I want. But if I click on the ellipsis button, I have as an option only uninstall. And how I can re-edit this agent. So it's not a very intuitive, the user interface, but you need to click on the create an agent again. And then here in the drop down, you will see all your agent created previously. So let's go on the view all agents. And there we go. I have now the list of my agents created. So I can re-edit this one onboarding facilitator. And there we go. I can change everything that I want about this this agent. From an IT admin perspective, there is the, the ability to disable this functionality. And moreover, in the admin center, IT admins will have the list of all agents created from the end users. So let's jump on the settings. And here under integrated apps, IT admins will have this capability. Clicking on the ellipsis button in settings, there is this section allow the following user access to copilot agents. This is in preview. They can decide if turn on all users or disable this functionality or just allowing a few people to use it. Have you already started to create new copilot agents? Let me know in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time. Bye.